Hello, and welcome to How to Format Your Screenplay. Today, I will be using Final Draft. There are other screenwriting softwares out there, but Final Draft is more or less the industry standard. So why is formatting so important? Well, if you hand a movie or TV producer an improperly formatted script, he or she will throw it in the trash without a second thought. You might as well have written it in crayon. So, to begin, you simply open up Final Draft, and it'll automatically make a new untitled screenplay. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the top here and go to Title Page. This way you can edit your script title. For this we can just say Example. And you can go ahead and write your f name here. I'll go ahead and just write my first name. This line is where you can write the name of the book or whatever media format that you're basing this script on. And then you don't have to add your address and phone number, but definitely in this corner here add some type of contact information so that whoever you send your script to will be able to provide feedback. Okay, so... If you go ahead and press enter, a list of script elements will appear. So we'll start with scene heading. So a scene heading denotes where and when a scene takes place. So you will always start out with interior or exterior, interior being inside a house or a car, whereas exterior being anywhere outdoors. So for this, we'll go ahead and say interior. You can go ahead and tab. And then it'll be the actual location. So I'll go ahead and stay recording studio. Then you're going to want to press space, dash, and space again. And now it will be time of day. So I'll just go ahead and say day. And then if you want to be more specific with the location, I can go ahead and say Lilburn Library slash Recording Studio. That can also be something we can do. But I think I'm fine with just Recording Studio Day. So when you press enter, it'll automatically set you into the action element, which is what we'll be talking about next. So in the action element, it will have any character and location descriptions, as well as any actions that the characters or any objects happen. This is going to be the bulk of your script. So when you're introducing a character, you want to have their name in all capitalization and then in parentheses you'll have their age so I can go ahead and say my age and then comma and then you can go ahead and give a brief character description so I will say A dedicated librarian and introverted soul what whatever we're this is just an example works on his presentation in the well-lit and soundproofed in a well-lit and soundproofed room. So, not very interesting to read, however, I'm not, here, I'm not here to write an actual script. I'm just here to show how to write one. So no judgment. 
So the general rule for action is that you want to not go over four lines. So if you get to four lines, you'll just press enter and it'll stay on action. And then you can just keep typing whatever you want. So press enter again, press enter. And this time we'll go to character. Char the character element denotes the character that is about to speak dialogue. So we can go ahead and type my name, enter. And then once you've done the, once you've filled in the character element, it'll automatically transition you to the dialogue element. And dialogue is what the character says. So you can have me saying hello and welcome. And so the next element will be parenthetical. And this basically just denotes a beat. A beat is basically a brief pause in dialogue. It's basically a moment of contemplation or maybe hesitation. It's good to use on occasion. I wouldn't overuse it though. So next we have transition. And this is basically when you type in F, these are basically your fade in, fade outs, fade to white, fade to black. Use these sparingly because unless you're going to be directing your film, this is not up to you. But it's always fine to have it in the beginning or at the very end, you can say, fade to black. So there are variations to how movies and TV are formatted. For instance, movies don't have act lists. With TV, you do have acts. You'll need to put in acts. And there's always going to be some leeway when it comes to formatting, but there are always going to be the basic consistencies like I just showed. If you want to look at other scripts, professional scripts, and how they are formatted, you can go to simplyscripts.com. S-I-M-P-L-Y-S-C-R-I-P-T-S dot com. Thank you for watching and have a good day.